Hey everyone, Complex back with another video and today, well today we're going to chat about how to install mods using the Frosty Mod Manager. Now the Frosty Mod Manager does apply to a variety of games, all of them having to use the Frostbite engine. Now two of those games that do use the Frosty Mod Manager are Mass Effect Andromeda and Dragon Age Inquisition. And today I'm going to show you how to install these mods using Mass Effect Andromeda as an example, but you can take these exact same steps and apply them to Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, I did do a previous video, which I will link down below, describing how to use the Dragon Age Inquisition mod manager for the .dai mod format. And then in a separate video down the road, I will walk you through how to make the Frosty mod manager and the .dai mod manager play nice so you can use both mod types. But there are a few things that I do want to let you know about before we dive into how to use the mod manager. Now, first up, I do want to let you know that you have to launch your game from the Frosty Mod Manager every single time you play if you want the mods to show up. Unlike the .dai mod format that I've talked about before and some other mod managers, this one does require you to launch through the mod manager in order for the mods to show. So I'd recommend keeping the mod manager somewhere easily accessible on your desktop or even just pinned to the toolbar. The other thing that I do want to let you know is that now with the newer versions of the Frosty Mod Manager, you only need one installation of it in order to have it work for multiple games. Whereas way back when we needed to have a different instance of the Frosty Mod Manager installed, now you only need one. And at the end of the video, I will show you how to make it work for multiple games. But with that being said, let's dive on into how to get the Frosty Mod Manager to work. Now, before we dive in to exactly how to install the Mod Manager, we need to do some prep work. The first thing that you're going to need to do is find where your game.exe is located. So there's going to be a folder that either is labeled as Mass Effect, Dragon Age Inquisition, or whatever game you're looking for for the Frosty Mod Manager. And that is going to be wherever you had origin install them for me personally it's normally on my f drive and the example um, that you're seeing on screen it is on my r drive just to make things easier um, but you do want to go ahead and find that folder now if you can't see your uh, file extension type all you need to do is go up to the top of your window and you will see that there is a view option over to the right, you will then see a show extension option and you just want to click that and it should turn on and show you all the different extension types and making it easier. Then on the same drive that your game is installed, you are going to want to create a brand new folder called Frosty Mod Manager or whatever works for you. So you know that this is the folder that is going to contain the Frosty Mod Manager and then subsequently all of your mods. Then after that, you do want to make sure that you have a zip file opener, whether that is going to be WinRAR or 7-zip, which is my personal preference. You just need something that is going to open up the initial zip file that the mod manager comes with. Now let's move on to actually installing the mod manager. You're going to want to navigate over to the Frosty Tool Suite website, which I will link in the description down below and click the download the mod manager option. You don't need to download the tool suite. That is only if you are going to be creating mods. Once you have the mod manager downloaded, you're going to want to navigate over to wherever you have it installed and open it using your um, zip file opener of choice. Then I personally just highlight everything and drag and drop it into that frosty mod manager folder that we had created in the previous step. Now, once that is done, you will see that you have a frosty mod manager.exe file. You want to double click on that to open the application. And when you do, you will come to a configuration screen. At the bottom, you'll see that you have three options and you're going to want to click the new option. Once you do, you should be brought to a menu that is going to allow you to pick the EXE itself for the game that you are going to initially install, install mods on. So for me, I navigated over to where the Mass Effect Andromeda.exe is located and highlighted that and then it hit the open option. Once you do that, you should now see Mass Effect Andromeda or Dragon Age Inquisition, depending on what game you're doing this for, in the options to highlight within that configuration screen. You want to make sure that your game of choice is highlighted and then at the bottom right, you're going to want to hit the select option. Once you do, you should be brought to a brand new screen that looks like a, well, mod manager. 
At the top, just to confirm everything is correct, you should see Frosty Mod Manager, the current version number that you're using, and then in parentheses, the game name. And that's super crucial. You want to make sure that whatever game name you have highlighted is the one that you actually want to be modding just to make sure everything works smoothly. And now it's time to start installing mods. So you're going to want to head over to your favorite place to download mods. I prefer Nexus Mods. You can also go ahead and browse through Tumblr. There are a lot of different modders. I only download mods from Tumblr, though, from modders that I trust and are reputable. Well, once you've kind of browsed through and you have maybe one or two mods that you'd like to start with, because I do recommend only starting with one or two just to get the process under your belt and to make sure everything works smoothly. You're going to want to download those mods. And then all you have to do is drag and drop the zip file that comes with them into your mod manager. It's actually super easy in that regard with Frosty. Initially, you will see them over in the available mod section, which is on the left hand side of your mod manager. Now to apply the mod, you're going to need to either highlight the mod and at the bottom hit apply mods, or you just have to double click it. You'll know it's applied correctly when in the applied section, which is on the right hand side, you see the mod name with a little checkbox next to it. Now, if you are using a couple different mods that might alter a few of the same things, but you want them in a particular load order, you will notice that there are two sets of, or there's a set of arrows that is on all the way on the right hand side up in the top. And all you have to use do is highlight a mod and then use those arrows to move your mods around if that's something that you'd like to do. Now, all you have to do from there is hit the launch option at the top and it should launch your game for you. Now, remember, you do have to hit that launch option with the mod manager open every single time you want to play with your mods installed. Now, as another thing to note, sometimes windows will pop up asking for permissions and you just want to hit yes. However, sometimes it can take the mod manager a little while to launch your game, especially on the first try. It can depend on how many mods you have, the size of the mods, the types of mods, your computer, and so on and so forth. So you do want to be patient with it. However, if you are getting a black screen and nothing is happening, you're going to want to navigate over to the original folder I had you find with the game's exe. Within that, you should see a mod data folder, and all you want to do is delete it from your game folder. Once you've done that, just navigate back to your mod manager and hit the launch button and proceed to launch the game as normal. Sometimes the mod data gets a little bit stuck with this mod manager. And so it's super easy to just delete the mod folder and let it relaunch and it should work nine times out of 10 that actually does fix the problem. Now, if you are somebody that is trying to have the .dai mods install into the Frosty Mod Manager, I will tell you it is a little bit more of an experimental feature at the time of making this video. And I myself personally have not had much luck doing it, but it is something that you can experiment and play around with. Just note that a lot of times it might not work with whatever mod you're using. And your best bet is to follow the next video that will come out, which will make DAI mods and Frosty mods play nicely with their respective mod managers. Now, after that, the few things to note is in order to uninstall a mod using the Frosty Mod Manager, all you have to do is either uncheck it from your applied mods on the right hand side if you just want to temporarily not have it work, or you can go ahead and on the left hand side where it says available mods, select the mod and at the bottom of the screen, you should see the remove mods option. So you just have to click that and it will remove the mod for you. The other cool thing is the Frosty Mod Manager does come with the option to create profiles. Underneath the file option, you should see an option for profile and it should just say default. Next to that, you'll see a plus and minus sign. And the plus sign is where you can create a brand new profile. So if you're going to play as two different inquisitors or if you're going to play as Sarah Ryder and then you want to play as a different kind of writer or anything like that, you can have separate profiles in order to keep all of the mods for each of your individual characters separate, which is a really nice option and keeps things nice and tidy. Now, before we go, I do want to let you know how to use the Frosty Mod Manager for multiple games. You're going to want to relaunch Frosty Mod Manager with the configuration option. Then when you are in that original screen that we saw, you're going to want to navigate to the bottom and hit new again, just like we did before to install the original EXE. Then you're going to want to navigate over to wherever that EXE is located, select it, and then hit the apply button. 
Now you should see multiple games in your select configuration menu. And all you have to do is highlight your game of choice and hit select. And that should launch whatever game you are looking to mod or launch to play. The other thing to note is on the bottom left hand side, there is a checkbox for remember choice. And if you highlight a specific game and click that remember choice option, Whenever you launch the mod manager, it'll just auto launch into that game, which makes things super streamlined, especially if you're only playing one particular game at a time. If you ever want to back out and go back to the select configuration screen, all you have to do is go up to file and then hit select configuration and it should launch that configuration menu for you. But y'all, that's it. That is how you use the Frosty Mod Manager. Hopefully this helped if you were having any trouble installing mods using Frosty. And do stay tuned for the next video that will talk about how to make .dai mods and the Frosty Mod Manager play nice. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night and or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.